it is Cody and Santa just here to say Merry Christmas. Ha 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 But for real kind, it's actually Kim Jong Hyun. Ha 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 But Merry Christmas, no how Kai. Happy New Year. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let us. <laughs> well, hot doggity dog and pickle dog eggs, everybody. Christmas is here. And we, Rowdy and I, along with all the passers and the rest of the Pontiolos out here on the Ponderosa, want to be the first of what I know is going to be many to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas. <laughs> Welcome to New Hope Kauai. Please join the men of God as we celebrate the reason for the season, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen? Crying, he may. 
the first snowflake falling I know that you're reminding me That no matter Aloha, everybody, and the merriest Christmas to you and yours. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Christmas day, and thank you for joining us. And especially those of you who joined us last night at our Christmas Eve candlelight and communion service. Oh, wasn't that great? You know, we had uh, gifts and we had surprises, and uh, Sister Donnelly Kirkpatrick and her Kiki Hula blessed us also. The music was great, and uh, we just had fun, and uh, we passed out. Uh, Gifts to everybody. Everybody got uh, bibbities and socks. Bibbities and socks. Even if you was on female, you got bibbities and socks. No, just kidding. Uh, that's an inside joke for those of you who made it last night. But um, anyway, you know, on this Christmas Day, the greatest, greatest birthday party there is, that we lift up Jesus, and then we put in our families and the ones that we love all around us and bringing us joy. So I hope you had uh, great gifts um, this morning or, or later, if you're going to open it later or last night, and that all the things that you opened uh, brought you joy and the smile and watching others opening their gifts too, right? But you know, especially the, the goodies and the snacks. I mean, Real local style, a lot of times we give goodies and snacks and candies and beef jerky and all kind, ono kind, crack seed and kakimochi and arare and all of that kind of stuff, yeah? But a lot of times you see around Christmas is cookies. Cookies all over the place. Christmas cookies. Those of you who love cookies, you're probably all happy, all joyous, all smiles. But I know a story about uh, Christmas cookies, but this Two guys, two local guys, one Hawaiian guy and one Portuguese guy, they walk into a bakery and they like buy Christmas cookies. But the Portuguese guy, he turned to the Hawaiian guy, he go, hey, you like see some Christmas magic? He go, Christmas magic? Yeah, watch this, but I'm going to show you some Christmas magic. So he grabbed one Christmas cookie and he 
put them in his pocket. Then he grabbed another Christmas cookie and he put them in the other pocket. And he goes, look, I will make them disappear. The Hawaiian guy goes, that's it. That's all you can do. That's nothing. So he called the baker from the back and the shop owner. He goes, hey, I'm going to show you one magic trick, okay? I'm going to make Christmas cookies disappear, and then I'm going to make them reappear. The baker was like, yeah, I'll like see you do that. I don't think you can do that. So the Hawaiian guy tell him, if I do them, you got to give me the rest of the cookies in that tray. So the baker go, okay, let me see. The Hawaiian guy, he grab one cookie. He shove them in his mouth. He grind them. He chuck them down. Oh, the ono. He grab one other cookie. Shove them in his mouth. Grind them. Munch them all down. He go, oh, so ono. The baker look at him and goes, yeah, you didn't make the cookies disappear, but I don't see them reappear. In fact, you're going to have to pay for those two cookies. The Hawaiian guy go, hold on, hold on, bro. Relax. So I look inside this Portuguese guy's pocket. Yeah, I hope you caught down, you know, on this Christmas day. That's because you went, wake up too early if you never catch them. But, but anyway, I hope that brought a smile and some joy to you. But you know what? A report came out in March of this year, in 2022. And this report says this. It says that certain countries uh, have the most happiest people and are full with joy. And the number one country in the world is Denmark again. For the last five years, Denmark, followed by other countries like Finland and Iceland, and it goes on and on and on. And uh, one of them is New Zealand. Israel is in there too. But guess what? No listing of the United States making the top 10. And then this report says, there was a separation between happiness and joy. A lot of people said they were happy but they didn't have a lot of joy. You know why? Because happiness is just something based on something temporary, on a, on a situation that happens and it makes you happy for the moment. But real joy, real joy is contentment and it's peace. And in the midst of life struggles, you still have that joy. It is joy beyond understanding. So this is the season where we say joy to the Lord, right? Joy to the world, joy to you and I. But you know what? A lot of people really, really need to receive the joy of Jesus. And that comes through you. So on this Christmas day, I hope you're experiencing that kind of joy. Because that's what the Bible says in Luke 2.10. It says this, And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. Good tidings of great joy. Not just any kind of joy. Not just simple joy. Not just the joy that the world can bring. But great joy that only Jesus can bring. And that's why in John 15, 11, it says this. I have told you this, Jesus said, so that my joy may be in you. And that your joy may be complete. Now let's. Let's, let's just contemplate that and take that in again. Jesus says this, I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. That's what we're asking the Lord for today. Complete joy. The joy in the midst of life struggles. Joy that brings us contentment and even long lasting, regardless of what's going on behind, what's happening to us in the front, what's happening to us all around. We have this great joy, and Jesus says, my joy that is in you will be complete. How's that for a gift? In this Christmas day, I hope your joy is complete, a complete joy that only God can give. And when we unwrap that gift, we say, yeah, joy to the world, joy to the Lord most high, and thank you for your joy, Lord. So we just want to say again, Merriest Christmas to all of you. Um, we have some quick announcements. Uh, this is a short, quick message. But uh, remember now, on New Year's Day, we will not be having a live service. It will be only online. And we'll try to post these services as early as we can. And um, so don't come to the uh, 
Kapal High School cafeteria now, which is, you know, God's sanctuary disguised as a cafeteria. Don't come there. We're not going to have any live services on New Year's Day, okay? So it will only be online. A special, special New Year's Day message of launching into the new year in 2023. I really believe it's a message from God to give us a foundation and a launching pad to send us into something greater in Him and to ignite something that may have been dormant in all of us. Amen? And so we're only going to have an online service. Hey, that's mean. You had Christmas Day to take a break. We're talking to some of our leaders over there. And you got Christmas Eve to relax with your family. You got, I mean, on New Year's Eve to relax with your family. You got New Year's Day to relax with your family. And then what a lot of us are looking forward to, some of us are going, oh, here it comes. The Daniel Fast that we do every year. A church-wide Daniel fast will begin on January 2nd, okay, 21 days. And we will put more information about exactly what a fast is. If you don't know, contact us and ask us. But there's a lot of material out there. And we'll try to guide you uh, in some, some teachings and, and people who, who really, really know about the Daniel fast. And some testimony also maybe you can see on nhkawaii.com. Okay, so Daniel Fast, church-wide starting January 2nd. And then we come back on January 8th, okay? January 8th, back live at the school. Keep your ears open, especially at the New Year's message, in case we change the starting time of our service. And a new beginning and a new starting time is possible in the making. So keep your ears and your eyes open. Amen? To that, so just some quick, some quick announcements about what's going to be taking place in these next few weeks. So no live service on New Year's Day. It'll be only online. Please tune in. It'll be a special message for all of us. Then the Daniel Fast begins on January 2nd, and then we'll see you all back live on January 8th. It's so good to see all of you in person because there's nothing like it when we get to see each other in person. I know God can do great things through, through video, through online. Cannot beat you when we see each other face to face and heart to heart. Once again, Merry Christmas to each and all of you from the bottom of our hearts at New Hope Kauai, from the leaderships, from the pastors to the servants, from the parking lot to the pulpit. May this be the best Christmas that you have ever experienced because the joy of the Lord has been put in your hearts and you have complete joy in Jesus Christ. I hope you had a good time watching Uncle Kulolo and watching the Korean Santa and Brother Boo and the Anahola Elf and Professor Pocho. And he brought a smile to your face so that you could have some joy. So as we close out over here, let, let's pray. Let's pray today. And let's really not forget that from the commercialization of Christmas, we bring it to the spiritualization of Jesus Christ and his spirit. And that Jesus, we always hear, is the reason. But let's really, really make sure the reason we exist is to exalt and glorify Jesus and to complete the purpose and the plan he has for us. So let's pray. Father, we just thank you, Lord. Happy birthday, Jesus. The greatest birthday party in the world. Thank you that you love parties too, Lord. Thank you that we get to celebrate your birth, the greatest event ever in the history of mankind, was you coming from heaven and becoming one of us. We thank you, Lord Jesus. I pray that every single person watching in their homes, wherever they are right now, in their cars, wherever they're situated, that you would touch them right now by your spirit and you would fill them with your joy so that their joy may be complete. In a world where a lot of people are not experiencing the joy of the Lord, would you touch them? Lord? Would you heal that one person that just asking to be healed? Would you heal that marriage and the finances that people, are, that financial struggle that you are going through? Give it to the Lord and let the Lord be Jehovah Jireh, your provider. It's not your job. It's not your income. That's not your provider. Allow the Lord to provide for you. I know you went through this Christmas season struggling with a lot of stress because of your finances. And the Lord says, if you allow me, I will take care of it. If you trust and look to me and only trust in me 
and not anything else. Lord, we just thank you, Lord. We just rebuke all illness and sickness and disease. We just cancel cancer off people who are watching. Lord, we ask that all generational curses will be reversed. We ask that the yoke-destroying, bondage-breaking anointing of Jesus Christ and his spirit will fall upon every single person that is tuned in today so that this will be a Christmas they will never forget. Thank you, Lord, for all of your gifts, the gifts of your spirit, the gifts of salvation, the gifts of your shed blood and that it speaks, the gift of your word. We thank you. Happy birthday, Jesus. We pray this in your name. And everybody said, Amen. God bless you. We love you. Aloha. Hey, Professor Pocho coming at you live from our place with my rain dog. Thank you again for joining us this Christmas. We hope you do have great joy in your house because I have great joy in my house with my rain dog and uh, my white coat. But hey, we want to remind you on a couple of things. Next week, join us online at 10 o'clock, online only. The week after that, January 8th, we'll be back at Kapa High School. So hey, we hope to see you in person in the new year. Hey, would you have a Merry Christmas from all of us, Uncle Kulolo, Brother Boo, Kim jong Hyu, and Professor Pocho, and my rain dog. God bless you. We love you. Aloha. Christmas Day That's the island greeting